For decades, quantum computing has felt like a far-off dream, the kind of thing you see on lab whiteboards but never in the real world. Well, that just ended. On October 22, 2025, Google introduced a quantum chip that completely changes what we thought was possible. Their new Willow chip didn't just beat a supercomputer. It made it look like a pocket calculator. In the next few minutes, you'll find out how this breakthrough just fired the starting gun on a new age of discovery, one that will reshape everything from medicine to artificial intelligence. For the better part of a century, our world has been built on classical computers. From giant vacuum tubes to the phone in your pocket, they've followed Moore's law, getting smaller, faster, and more powerful. These machines all work on a simple idea, bits, which are just tiny switches that are either on or off, a one or a zero. By stringing together billions of these switches, we've done incredible things, sent people to the moon, mapped the human genome, and powered the entire global economy. But there's a catch, a big one. Classical computers, for all their power, have limits. There are certain problems that are just too complex for them. And I don't mean slightly harder problems. I mean problems that would take the world's fastest supercomputer billions of years to solve. These are problems that involve the messy, chaotic, and beautiful rule book of reality itself, quantum mechanics. Trying to simulate a new molecule for a life-saving drug or design a perfectly efficient battery. Those tasks are governed by quantum rules. Asking a classical computer to solve them is like trying to describe a symphony using only two notes. It's just not built for the job. This is the wall we've been hurtling towards. For years, the solution has been a tantalizing but distant promise. Quantum computing. A completely new way of calculating that speaks the same language as nature. But it always remained a promise, plagued by huge challenges. Until now. It finally happened. Google has quietly pulled off the extraordinary. They've built a quantum chip that transforms what we know about computation. Meet the Willow chip. This isn't just another small step forward. It's a fundamental leap, a moment that historians will likely point to as the beginning of the quantum age. So, what is Willow? At its heart, it's a processor made of superconducting transmin qubits. Now, if transmin qubit sounds like science fiction, you're not far off. A classical bit is a simple switch, zero or one. A qubit, though, is on another level. Thanks to a wild quantum trick called superposition, a qubit can be a zero, a one, and both at the same time. Think of a spinning coin. While it's in the air, it's not heads or tails. It's in a state of both possibilities. A qubit is just like that. This ability means a quantum computer's power grows exponentially with every qubit you add. With just 300 qubits, a quantum computer could represent more states than there are atoms in the known universe. The experiments that proved Willow's power were run on a 65 qubit version of the chip, built with astonishing purity from aluminum and niobium, and chilled to 15 millikelvin. That's just a sliver of a degree above absolute zero, colder than the deepest voids of space. This extreme cold is crucial to keep the delicate quantum states stable and shield them from the noise of the outside world. Google's state-of-the-art control over the entire process has led to incredibly high fidelity. To put it simply, it's like having a computer that makes incredibly few mistakes while running at nanosecond speeds. This level of precision is staggering, and it's the key to unlocking the real power of quantum computing. Because for these machines, the biggest enemy has always been error. For nearly 30 years, one giant, seemingly impossible obstacle has stood in the way of useful quantum computers. Errors. Qubits are fragile. The slightest vibration or a tiny change in temperature can make them deco here. Basically, they lose their quantum magic and the information they're holding. This makes doing any long, complex calculation almost impossible. It's like trying to build a skyscraper during a constant earthquake. 
Historically, the more qubits you added, the more errors you got. The problem actually got worse as you scaled up. This has been the central challenge that kept quantum computing trapped in the lab. But here's the crazy part. The Willow chip has finally started to crack this problem. Google has shown that with their new system, using more qubits can actually reduce errors. Let that sink in. By encoding information across multiple physical qubits to create a single, more robust, logical qubit, they prove that the system gets more reliable as it gets bigger. This is a historic achievement in the field. Think of it like a car that repairs itself as it drives. In a normal car, more miles mean more wear and tear, and eventually, it breaks down. This new system is like a car where the more you drive it, the stronger the engine gets, automatically fixing itself along the way. This breakthrough is the holy grail of quantum computing. It's what separates a noisy, experimental device from a true, fault-tolerant quantum computer. It's the difference between a cool science project and a world-changing tool. For the first time, we have a clear path to building machines with thousands or even millions of stable, error-corrected qubits. Hartmut Neven, the founder of Google's Quantum AI Lab, has been chasing this for over a decade. And this is a massive step toward that goal. Making bold claims is easy. Proving them is hard. So how do we know Willow is as revolutionary as it sounds? The answer is a head-to-head -head challenge against the king of classical computers, the world's fastest supercomputer, Frontier. Google tested their chip with a task called random circuit sampling. It's a deliberately abstract problem designed to push a quantum processor to its absolute limit, creating a computational state so complex that no classical computer could ever hope to simulate it. The result was stunning. Willow finished the calculation in under five minutes. And how long would that same task have taken Frontier, a machine that fills an entire room? Google's estimate is 10 septillion years, that's a one with 25 zeros after it. The universe itself is only about 13.8 billion years old. The task would take Frontier a length of time that is just incomprehensibly longer than the entire history of existence. This is what's known as quantum advantage, the point where a quantum computer does something that is practically impossible for any classical computer. Google first claimed this back in 2019, but it was debatable. This time, the gap is no longer just wide. It's a chasm. Hartmut Neven has even joked that this incredible power might lend some credibility to the multiverse theory, the idea that the chip is borrowing processing power from parallel universes. While that's a mind-bending thought, the reality is clear. Quantum hardware is now definitively outperforming classical machines. Okay, but random circuit sampling, as impressive as it is, has a catch. It's a benchmark. The result it produces is just a string of random numbers. It doesn't solve a real-world problem. So a critic could rightly ask, so what? This is where the story gets really good. On October 22, 2025, in a paper in the journal Nature, Google announced they had achieved the world's first verifiable quantum advantage. This is a landmark moment. They did it with a brand new algorithm called Quantum Echoes. Unlike the abstract task from before, Quantum Echoes is designed to solve a real physics problem. It calculates something called an out-of-time ordered correlator, or OTOC. In simple terms, OTOCs describe how information scrambles through a complex quantum system. It's like measuring the butterfly effect at the quantum level. Understanding this is key to studying everything from molecules to black holes. Here's a way to think about it. The algorithm works like a super advanced sonar. First, the scientists send a signal forward in time through the quantum system. Then, they introduce a tiny disturbance, like flicking a single qubit. After that, they precisely reverse the process, running the system's evolution backward in time.
On a quantum computer, the forward and backward paths interfere with each other, creating a pattern that amplifies the signal from that tiny flick, producing a clear echo. This makes the measurement incredibly sensitive. So what does this all mean? It means Google now has a tool that is not only insanely fast, but also produces a useful result that can be checked and verified. This is the foundation of real scientific discovery. And the performance? For this specific physics simulation, Willow executed the quantum echoes algorithm thousands of times faster than the best possible approach on the Frontier supercomputer. A calculation that took the quantum chip just over a minute would have taken Frontier an estimated 3.2 years. For the first time in history, a quantum computer has run a verifiable, useful algorithm that no classical supercomputer on Earth can match. Achieving verifiable quantum advantage isn't just a technical win. It's the key that unlocks a new era of science. It proves the original vision for quantum computers, first imagined by physicist Richard Feynman, as tools for simulating nature itself. Imagine you're trying to discover a new drug. The process hinges on understanding exactly how a drug molecule will interact with a protein in the body. This is a deeply complex quantum problem. Classical computers can only approximate these interactions, forcing years of slow trial and error. This is where quantum echoes could be a game changer. In an early experiment, Google collaborated with researchers to use this technique to analyze small molecules using data from nuclear magnetic resonance, or NMR, a standard tool in chemistry. The results from the Willow chip not only match the findings from traditional NMR, but also help provide a more detailed picture of the molecule's structure. The algorithm acts as a kind of molecular ruler able to measure the interactions between atoms across longer distances with more precision. Think of it this way. Traditional methods might tell you a shipwreck is on the ocean floor. Quantum echoes is like being able to swim down and read the nameplate on the hull. This could revolutionize industries. By providing a sharper picture of how molecules interact, it could dramatically speed up drug discovery lead to custom enzymes for creating biofuels, new catalysts for clean energy, and materials with properties we can't even imagine today. We are shifting from an era of discovering materials to an era of designing them, atom by atom. The ability to perfectly simulate quantum systems means we can finally start to truly engineer the building blocks of our world. The implications don't stop there. The power unlocked by Willow is set to ignite another revolution in artificial intelligence. The relationship between AI and quantum is a feedback loop. We're already using AI to help design better quantum chips, and soon we'll use quantum computers to create much more powerful AI. Today's AI models are amazing, but they're still running on classical hardware. They're bound by the simple logic of zeros and ones. So how far could AI go when it's powered by quantum mechanics? Quantum machine learning could process information in completely new ways. This could lead to AI that can solve optimization problems that are impossible today. Imagine optimizing global supply chains in real time to eliminate waste, designing flawless logistics for entire cities, or creating financial models that can actually predict market fluctuations with unheard of clarity. We are standing at the very beginning of a new wave of innovation. The Google team has a public roadmap. They hit their first milestone beyond classical computation in 2019. They hit the second, a prototype of error correction in 2023. With Willow and verifiable quantum advantage, they are now well on their way. Their ultimate goal is to build a fault-tolerant quantum computer with a million physical qubits by the end of the decade. Of course.
We are on the cusp of a new era, one that will be defined by breakthroughs we can barely begin to imagine. This isn't the end of the story. It's the very first chapter. The future is coming faster than ever. If you want to stay ahead of the curve on the technology shaping our world, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. We're just scratching the surface here, and you won't want to miss what comes next.